so hello friends welcome back to easy notes for your academy so today i'm going to tell you the different tax slabs or income tax slabs in india and what is the new tax regime and the old tax regime so first of all we will start from the individual tax slab for the individual then we'll tell you about the tax slabs for the senior citizen and super senior citizen in the both new tax regime and old tax regime so in the new tax regime the individual uh, tax slabs are like that uh, uh, there is no tax limit or there is no tax for the individuals so, uh, for the income of up to the 2.5 lakh and there will be a 10% income tax uh, for the income between the 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh so the uh, amount exceeding uh, exceeding 2.5 lakh so there will be a flat 5% uh, flat five of the amount exceeding rupees 2.5 lakh 2.5 lakh will be charged for the tax and the, in the next slab is the uh, income tax between the uh, or we can see the income between the 5 uh, five lakh to 7.5 lakh so in that there will be a fixed 10 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 5 lakh will be charged so in the fourth slab for the individual with the taxable income between the 7.5 lakh and the 10 lakhs so in that case 15 percent of the amount exceeding uh, rupees uh, 7.55 lakh will be charged and in the next or we can see the fifth slab so in that uh, fifth slab the income tax between the 10 lakhs uh, to 12.5 lakh so the, in that case 20 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 10 lakh will be charged and in the sixth slab the uh, taxable income between the 12.5 lakh and rupees 15 lakh so in that case uh, 25 percent of the amount exceeding uh, rupee 12.5 uh, lakh will be charged for the income tax and in the next slab for the individuals with the taxable income above the 15 lakhs so in that case 13 percent of the uh, amount exceeding rupees 15 lakh will be charged as a tax so taxpayer can choose the regime that is more beneficial for them based on the their income and the direction exemptions available to them so uh, that was the new tax regime for the individuals and what was the old tax regime and uh, what are the various benefits in the old tax regime so in the old tax regime the stand uh, the in individuals can get a standard deduction of 50,000 for the salaried person and deduction of the 1.5 lakhs under the section 80 C of the uh, for investment in the instrument such as the employee provident fund and a PPF or ELSS and another NSC national saving certificate and equity links uh, saving scheme they can benefit uh, for all these schemes about up to the 1.5 lakh and third deduction up to the 25,000 of the health insurance premium or paid for the self spouse or the uh, dependent children and an additional deduction of up to the 50,000 for the health insurance premium paid for the uh, paid for the parents so uh, or we consider parents who are the senior citizen about the 60 years of age so uh, in that uh, a, uh, additional benefit or deduction can be get up to the 50,000 for the health insurance premium paid for the parents so parents should be the senior citizen okay about the 60 years of age and uh, and in the case of the 50, 50 uh, for sorry 50,000 uh, the person can get the 50,000 uh, 50, deductions for the health insurance premium paid for the parents if the parents are senior citizen then he can get the he or she can get the uh, one lakh uh, up to the one lakh deduction for the health insurance premium paid for the parents okay now for deduction he can get up to the two lakhs uh, of the interest paid for the home loan if any person are taking the home loan and he are he or she is paying the interest for that loan so he can get the he or she can get the deduction of up to the two lakh of the interest paid for the uh, house home loan in a particular financial year so these are the some deductions he can get in the old tax regime so that is the benefit if a, a person having the schemes or savings there then he must choose for the uh, new tax regime uh, sorry old tax regime if a person don't have any savings or, uh, or there's no any proof for the deductions or exemptions so they can get they can they they must have to of the new tax regime because in new tax regime he can get the less tax or the we consider the less tax in the comparison of the old tax 
so uh, that was all about the uh, tax regime how the uh, person can choose between the old tax and new tax regime and uh, for the senior citizen what are the various criteria what, what is the various slabs for the individuals uh, or we can see the uh, income tax slab for the senior citizen and senior, senior super senior status citizen so for uh, the old according to old tax regime so what is the various slab for the senior citizen so old tax regime according to old tax, tax regime for the so for the senior citizen uh, there is no tax up to the 3 lakhs uh, of the income uh, of the income and in the second slab for the individual with their tax income between the 3 lakhs and 5 lakhs then 5% of the amount exceeding rupees 3 lakhs and the third slab is the that individual with the taxable income between the 5 lakh and the 10 lakhs then rupee 10 lakh plus 20% of the amount exceeding exceeding rupees 5 lakh so for individual with the taxable income between the 5 lakh and the 10 uh, between the 5 to 10 lakh so 10000 plus 20 percent of the amount exceeding 5 lakhs so whatever amount will be exceeding for example a person having the 6 lakh of uh, 6 lakh annual income then 20 percent charge will be there plus uh, plus the exceeding amount well, how much the amount is exceeding from, from the 5 lakh there is the 1 lakh is so 20 percent of the n 1 lakh so 20 percent of the 20 thousand plus 10,000 to total will be 30,000 will be taxable income for that uh, will be tax levy will be tax and uh, for individual with the taxable income above rupee 10 lakh uh, and between what uh, 10 lakh then the rupees 1 lakh 10,000 plus 30 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 10 lakh so that was the fourth uh, slab invest the, if the taxable income above the 10 lakh then the charge will be 1 lakh 10,000 plus 30 percent of the amount exceeding 10 lakhs that that is old tax regime for the senior citizen now what is the new tax regime for the senior citizen so in that senior citizen uh, for the new tax regime there is a no taxation up to the 3 lakhs and in the second slab if the taxable income is between 3 lakh to 5 lakh then 5 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 3 lakhs and the third slab is the when the taxable income is between 5 lakh to 7.5 lakh then 10 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 5 lakh will be charged uh, charge for the individual with the taxable income between 7.5 lakh uh, to 10 lakh then 25 25000 will, will be charged as the tax plus 15 percent of the amount exceeding 7.5 lakh so that was the third slab and the fourth slab in the fourth slab the if the taxable income between the 10 lakh to 12.5 lakh so in that case the, the taxable amount will be 50,000 plus 20 percent of the amount exceeding 10 lakh and in the sixth slab the if the taxable in income is above the 12.5 lakh then the tax taxable income will be 1 lakh plus 25 percent of the amount exceeding rupees 12.5 lakh and a 4 percent health and education size is applicable on the income tax amount computed above so it will be applicable for the all the 4 percent health and education says will be levied on so that was the for the senior citizen the senior citizen age between 60 to 80 and super senior in the case of the super senior citizen where the um, age is above the 80 years so in that case what are the various old tax regime and new tax regime so in the so uh, so are eligible for the same income tax slave and the rates as the senior citizen under the both the old and new tax regime for the super senior citizen the tax regime will be the same as the senior citizen so these uh, these are the different tax slaves for the individual senior citizen and super senior citizens so these are all about the uh, different tax slaves so as per according to assessment year 2023 and 2024 and the financial year 2022 to 2023 old and new tax regime for individual and the uh, senior citizen so uh, one more point so what is the difference between the old tax regime and new tax regime for the individuals so in the old tax regime the income tax slab uh, was that first slab that up to the 2.5 lakh there is no taxation and between 2 lakh uh, 2 lakh 50000 1 to 5 lakh there is a 5 percent tax will be levied on uh, the income and uh, the income between 5 lakh 1 to the 10 lakh so income tax uh, flat 20 percent uh, tax will be levied on the income and the uh, 
इनकम इज विच इज मोर देन दैन लैक देन द फ्लैट थर्टी परसेंट टैक्स विल भी लेविड ऑन दैट तो दैट वॉज द ओल्ड टैक्स रिजीम एंड इन अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यू टैक्स रिजीम वेयर देर इज अप टू द थ्री लैक देर इज ए नील देर इज नो टैक्सेशन इन एज अकॉर्डिंग न्यू टैक्स रिज्यूम बट इन द ओल्ड टैक्स रिज्यूम द इंडिविजुअल कैन गेट बेनिफिट अप टू द टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक देर इज नो टैक्सेशन बट इन द ओल्ड न्यू टैक्स रिज्यूम ही कैन गेट बेनिफिट बेनिफिट अप टू द थ्री लैक्स देर इज नो टैक्सेशन एंड इन द ओल्ड टैक्स रिज्यूम देर इज ए फाइव परसेंट टैक्स बिटवीन टाइव लैक एंड बिटवीन टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक टू फाइव लैक देर इज फाइव परसेंट बट इन दैट इन द न्यू टैक्स रिज्यूम there is a tax uh, uh, there is a charge of the 5% on the income between the 3 lakh to 6 lakh so there is a benefit of the 1 lakh here uh, there is a 5% tax uh, 5% tax will be levied on that income and in the old tax regime there is a tax there is a 20% flat tax will be levied the for the income between 5 lakh to 10 lakh but in the new tax regime you can get benefit it from 6 lakh to Nine thousand six lakh to uh, sorry lakh six lakh to nine lakh. There is a ten percent taxation will be levied on, and uh, in the old tax regime, for the income which is more than the ten lakh, there is a thirty percent tax will be levied on. But in the new tax regime, uh, between nine lakh to twelve lakh, there is a fifteen percent tax will be levied on, and uh, and between twelve lakh to fifteen lakh, there is a twenty percent tax will be levied on, and more than the 15 lakh there will be 30% tax will be levied on so that was the difference between the uh, old and tax regime where we can get the benefit uh, of that in the new tax regime if you are, you don't have any deductions or the any exemptions but if we will compare for example there uh, between 5 lakh to 10 lakh there is a 20% tax will be levied on in the old tax regime but in the new tax regime you can get only the tax 10% tax between the 6 lakh to 9 lakh and up to that uh, up to the, uh, above the uh, 10 lakh you can you will be levied and you will be charged 30% uh, tax in the old tax regime but uh, in the new tax regime there is a more slab in uh, 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 9 lakh to 12 lakh you can get the 50% tax and then uh, uh, you, uh, above the 20 lakh to uh, uh, 20 lakh to 15 lakh you will get the 20% and uh, more than the 15 lakh you will get the 30% so there is new tax is more beneficial for those person who don't have any savings or the any uh, any document to show any deduction or they they can claim any deduction so i will suggest if you having the some savings you can show the savings you can you can present the savings and you have the various schemes or insurance or any another securities or the shares and debentures of any companies or an nsc national uh, national savings certificate or any other documents or any other deductions then definitely you have to choose the old tax regime so thank you so much uh, so we will just meet in the next lecture so stay tuned with us and subscribe our channel easy not for your academy thank you so much